Um, I've never complained yet about a product. Yes, I do complain if something isn't up to what I think it should be. I am a complainer. I, I have my moments. I always complain if I get back, because I'm polite, and when I'm polite to somebody, I expect that politeness back. There's no need for rudeness, really. Today we're asking you to have your say. Do you get a chance to express your views? Do these large supermarkets listen to you? Well, we're joined by someone who spends their life talking to the public. Hi, Martin. Great to meet you. Thanks for inviting me along. So, what makes a successful market research question? The question shouldn't lead the person you're interviewing. It shouldn't bias them in any particular way. And it should get to the heart of the issue so they concentrate on the area you're trying to find out about. Once you've gathered the information, what do you do with it? Well, what I'm trying to do is solve problems for my clients. They often need to know the answers to particular questions. They need to know about particular products, how members of the public are using those products. And the only way for them to do this is not to guess or just have a hunch, but really to go out and talk to real people about the products in real situations and find out how exactly how they use them at home. Products that I buy in the supermarket are everyday things that I need for the house. Well, I choose the products I buy based on how they look, um, if I've seen them in a magazine, if, um, if one of my friends has um, seen something they like that they think I like and I go in there, that's how basically I choose my products. Supermarkets are quite clever how they price things and um, usually at eye level is the more expensive and the better quality, uh, which is what's, what makes you buy more. Well, I choose the products I buy by whether I actually like them or not. They've got to jump off the shelf and say, buy me, buy me. Being a student, price would be um, a factor when it comes to deciding something to buy. Um, but I would like to get the best of something. I think a lot of people, like myself, look for quality items as opposed to cheap rubbish. How valuable is the information you gather for your clients? It is the, probably the only way they can find out in an independent way because you must appreciate that clients and manufacturers, they're prejudiced, they're biased towards their own product. So they do need someone who's independent of them to go out and try and find out the information. Otherwise, they will only hear what they want to hear. You use the term professional consumer. Is this a new term and what does it mean? Well, what it means is the fact that on television now, there are so many programs which review products, which talk about products, which also explain to people how the manufacturing industry works, how the advertising industry works. And as a consequence of that, people now know a lot more about how these products are made and how, most importantly, how the products are sold.